For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Donald Trump is out. Joe Biden has been sworn in as the President of the United States. The end of the Trump era is being hailed as the end of a dark age. What's going to be different under Biden? Some of his executive orders do reverse some of the more contentious stances that Trump took. This includes joining back the Paris Climate Accord, stopping the withdrawal of the United States from the World Health Organization, stopping the construction of the Keystone Pipeline, etc. His cabinet nominations, however, suggest that no fundamental change will take place, nothing that could upset the corporate elites and other such friends of the Democrats. Who all has Biden nominated? Let's look at the foreign policy and national security team. Biden's cabinet is being applauded as the most diverse in US history. These nominations may be diverse demographically, but offer no diversity in terms of opinion. The people Biden wants to bring in his cabinet have campaigned for wars and have benefited from wars. Most were part of the Obama administration as well, during which a shockingly high number of drone strikes and deportations were conducted. All of these policies could make a comeback under Biden. Things at the domestic front also look similar. There may be some diversity demographically, but the people Biden is planning on instating in his cabinet will carry out the same pro-corporate, business-friendly policies that establishment Democrats have in the past. The Biden administration intends to defend corporate interests even at the expense of people's lives and the planet. These are just a few of the many such characters that Biden plans on bringing with him. Biden owes his victory to both the widespread anti-Trump sentiment and the massive resentment among people against the current living conditions in the US. However, his nominations are people who are committed to fulfilling his promise to his rich donors that nothing will fundamentally change.